Here is how we made our kitchen island. After assembling our cabinet, we clamped and screwed the cabinets together. We then placed the countertop on top of the cabinet and secured them with L brackets. My husband made a frame for the casters out of two by four scraps. We then placed the cabinet on top of the frame and secured it with two inch screws. We took a half inch piece of plywood and secured it to the back of the cabinets. I then took MDF sheets and cut them to the height of the cabinet. I secured them with glue and one inch nails and repeated this for each panel. Once I was finished, it looked something like this. For the trim, I started by adding a three inch piece of trim three inches from the floor. I then added a five inch piece of trim on top of the three inch trim. I also used a scrap piece of MDF to keep it from touching the floor. I added a three inch piece of trim to the top on a 45 degree angle, as well as on the sides, securing them with one inch broad nails. I repeated that on each side of the cabinet. I also added a three inch piece of trim to the center and corner trim on each corner. Once it was finished, I added dry decks to the holes and caulked the seams. Once it was dry, I sanded all the dry decks and used the Bullseye 123 primer to prime the entire cabinet. I did two coats of primer and two coats of semi-gloss paint in the color Chantilly Lace by Benjamin Moore. And this was how it turned out.